Brooks, clearly listening to your post-match interview after the Dorking game, bitterly disappointed because it was there, wasn't it, really? Yeah, you're right. It was, it was there for the taking. I think uh, missed opportunity for us, to be honest. Um, good game for the neutral, very open. Bit basketball game-ish, if you know what I mean. Um, two and throw, but they put their chances away. We didn't. Um, we conceded far too many, um, for my liking. Um, so, listen, is what it is. We move on and uh, look forward to the remaining part of the season. Strange, isn't it? Because defensively, generally, you've been pretty tight this season, and so you're going to score two away from home, and then the defensive side of it falls apart a bit. Yeah, yeah, been re really good defensively. We had to make a couple of changes last minute, a few, few things, but um, that shouldn't stop the way we've been dealing with things very. Trying to just keep it simple and basic at the back, clear your lines, um, communication, distances, and we, we were far too open first half an hour, and that's we conceded three goals in that time. Um, and it's, it's always a mountain to climb when, when you need to score four to win a game. Clearly, now it's the focus on the league. With all due respect, there was just senior cup. The league is pretty much where you're at now. Yeah, yeah, and lots of games in a short space of time for everybody. So there's got to be. Uh, a bit of a roller coaster now, up and down, um, up and down the country. Um, Saturday, Tuesday for the majority of the season now. So yeah, looking forward to it. Um, need to get some numbers back and and be as competitive as we can from now to the end of the season. Put in a, a a bit of a run and and just see where we are. Except you know, hindsight's a precise science, as they always say. But um, looking back now, I and mean, with people texting in the other night saying in the recruitment side of things. Uh, perhaps over the goalkeeping position and the striking positions. You know, if you had the benefit of hindsight, would you have changed anything, do you think? Um, that's, what, why, what, I'd like to know why people say that. We've got the third best defensive record in the league. Um, I think it's just an easy, when you're not doing well, we need to change things. And we haven't done well and we're, we're trying to change things. But I don't think finger pointing or pointing a position out is, 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 is the way. Well, yes, we haven't scored enough goals. And if we scored 10 more goals, we'd be in and around the playoffs. Um, defensively hasn't been the issue this season. Um, I just think um, scoring goals all around the club, set pieces, crosses, end products has just been nowhere near um, the level we need to be at to be at the top end of the table. That must surprise you because you say you, you've got the quality to put decent crosses in last season, you were putting mm. crosses in for fun but it just doesn't seem to work quite as well. Well it clicked last year, different personnel, it clicked and uh, you know that group was together for two and a half years with the Covid season and it just hasn't gelled as quickly as we can, there's, there's signs there and we've had to change so much this season due to one thing or the other. Um, but that's down to me, that's my issue, that's my problem and I've got to deal with it, you have to hold your hands up at some things and this at the end of the season um, if I need to hold my hands up, I will do. But we've got a long, a long way to go from now till then. Um, still looking to bring, you know, one or two in over the period because we, we're really light all of a sudden, and you're two injuries away from being, uh, you know, unable to, you know, put a, a 16 out. So, like I said, we need to get the bodies back, get some good experience in, which you know, with Nat Percival and and and, uh, and Alex Penny coming back is, is a big boost for us. Yeah, it was almost uh, six and two threes of the injury, wasn't it? As you mentioned, those two came back, but you lost Caleb Richards. Yeah, we did. Yeah, and unfortunately, you know, Caleb uh, probably won't be available this this week either. Um, and just just shows you where we are. We seem to be losing one or two every week. All contact injuries, nothing you can do about. Um, and when you do get two players back, you seem to lose an, another couple. So I'm sure it will even itself out over the year. And we'll, we'll get the players back to put a good run in. What has Caleb done? He opened up his ankle last week, Ashley Emmings fell on him, um, just really innocuous challenge and in training and, and that's it, he's one not to miss any game so you know he's in a bit of pain when, when he does so. But as we say on the plus side, Nat Knight Percival and Alex Penny, that, that adds your options there doesn't yeah, it? Yeah well listen, Alex come on at half time last week and Nat was on the bench so listen, both available this Saturday. This Saturday then, Bradford Park Avenue here and I see as a camera that the pitch is covered so all precautions have been taken. Yeah, yeah, because we do things right and listen, the game will be on Saturday and we need to um, put in a full energy performance for the fans because that's something they deserve. We've got to end the season on a high. It's all about how you end the season now. Um, the players have got lots to play for, I've got lots to play for and, and, and the fans can have their part as well. And Listen, we, we aren't where we need to be, but we, we, we can be very soon. Um, four games in ten days, it's a big one for us this month to, to kind of put us in, back in the mix, hopefully. Broadly speaking, your away form has been pretty decent this, this time around. It's your home form, really, that yeah, yeah, yeah. hasn't been. I, I hate that, because I love, I, love, I love this place. I think it's a, great, it's a great stadium to play. It's a great, vibrant atmosphere. And um, yeah, last year it, was, it seemed to be the reverse, and it seems to happen sometimes in football. Can't put your finger on it; you only really, really know at the end of the season. Um, but yeah, the, the boys have got to enjoy playing here. Um, I think the, the crowd, yes, they give them a bit of stick, but I think overall they're very, very good. 
Bradford Park Avenue then coming here, um, clearly on their own ground, which is 4G. Um, they're quite tricky to take on, but on their own, maybe this is the chance of these. Uh, I, I believe we can win any game that gets put in front of us. I, be, I also believe we're quite vulnerable as well this season. So, um, this is Bradford's another game that we've got to look to try and win. They're in a decent run of form, picked up a few points, got themselves away from you know the bottom of the table, and just a dangerous team. Every team dangerous because you know there's a mix of. 12, 15 teams that are all probably on par with each other this year and unfortunately for us we're one of them at the moment and to be at the top end of that we've got to, uh, we've got to be better. You mentioned you're still looking to add one or two to the squad, is anything like that happened before the weekend? Uh, nothing for the weekend, no. This, this thing's January has been really busy, They're probably the most busiest it's been um, this year up and down the land so um, Good options, half an eye on next year as well, and I think you've just uh, it can only the players can only be brought if they've got to make us stronger. Um, we're not looking for no knee-jerk reactions. We need to be better, and you know I've got to give faith in in the lads that are still here as well. But if I see someone who's who's um, got to improve us, then we'll jump on it. Yeah. Tom Owen Evans, just a word about him. I mean, it's been a frustrating season for him, I would imagine, because because he arrives and almost got injured as soon as he got here, yeah. and certainly when the season started. And maybe from his point of view, he's taken a bit longer to. Hit the straps since he's come back. Is that fair? If, yeah, him? definitely. I think his best part of, of his career here was pre-season, where he looked sharp and he, he looked fit in the full time, and he really dived in headfirst into the challenge. And um, had the injury knocked him back a bit, and, and confidence plays a factor as well. When, when you're in a struggling team who's, who's playing average at best uh, throughout the season, you, you're trying to first and foremost look after yourself and. It's very hard, you rely on the lads around you, but you have got to look after yourself and um, I think quite a few lads have found that challenging this year and it will click one day. Um, I'm just hoping it ain't the last game of the season. No, because I suppose people looked at him, you know, what, 15 or 16 goals last season and, you know, when the side perhaps needs a bit of a spark, they don't look to someone like that. Yeah, the season could have been so different for me. could have had a trick second game of the season against Leamington when he, when he hit the post twice and then all of a sudden it flipped reverse, could be on 10 goals by now, but he's not. So we missed three months of the year. Bad injury and um, and now he's back. We're seeing signs. So I need to see more. I need to see more. I'm challenging for to, to be part of the game a lot longer, um, and not just in little bits and bobs. But um, yeah, there's a player there. Obviously, that's otherwise he wouldn't be here. Final point, Kayleigh Richards. You've told us about he's obviously out for this weekend. Joe Lee's even knows out long term. Mm -hmm. How are you doing injury wise? Besides, um, yeah, just banging my head against a drum at the moment. It's just um, there seems to be one thing after another, but nothing serious. So hopefully we've got. A, Bigger squad this week um, to what we to what we have had, uh, but like you said, I think the Penny and Knight Percival situation is going to be a big plus for us. A big, two big leaders, good enthusiasm, uh, good defenders first and foremost.